So I'm gonna have to be careful what I say in this video. As the title suggests, the government agencies are banning off-grid essentials. I'm gonna give you a little bit of history. I mean, I've talked about a lot of this already, but now people are actually starting to figure out, oh, wait a minute, that's right. I remember I, the video I'm making today, I made probably last year. And last year, everybody was saying I was crazy. Oh, they'll never do that. Oh, they can't do that. Well, now I've seen three YouTubers in the last two days talk about exactly what I talked about last year. And now it's like big news. Oh, what are we gonna do? What are they doing? They can't do that. Well, they can do it and they're going to do it. And when you realize what they think of us, that's when you can actually start to prepare because these are the, like the preppers and homesteaders who are starting to realize that they don't want us on this planet. And if they get us off the planet, then they don't need to worry about anything according to them, the way they think. So stop thinking, why are they doing this? It's simple. They're doing it because they don't want you here. Last year, I reported on two things they wanted to do with water. In California, they wanted to ban basically private wells. Now, they weren't essentially banning them. What they're doing was making them public property, essentially. So if you had a well in California or you dug a well, I mean, you paid for it. It cost thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes in California and Arizona, to dig a well. So you pay for the well to get it drilled. And then you install a pump and the plumbing. So you pay for that. And then you pay for the electric that powers the the pump that brings the water to the surface and then they wanted you to put a meter on the well and go out and read the meter each month and pay a bill based on the water that you used there's been several things that have happened since then and it was hard to keep up after that but i think there was some public outrage so what i think they did and i'm just guessing because it was hard to understand i'm sure somebody in the comment section no you're wrong this is what happened. Well, it really doesn't matter. The point is, is I think they did something. So initially they said that they were only going to do it to farmers. And somehow that made it okay when they said, oh, no, no, they're just, they're just going to do it to farmers. So your food prices go up, but it's okay, it's the farmers. And then I think people got involved, companies got involved, said, wait a minute, no, 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 you, you can't ban wells on farms. I mean, this is nuts. So they changed it and made it private wells. So if I owned a well, my well, then they were gonna make us pay for it. I, I don't know where it's at. That was all last year and I got such grief for it. No, no, they're not gonna do that. And, I mean, they, they banned wood sto stoves pretty much on the West Coast. They've banned gas appliances pretty much on the West Coast. And I think even in New York, they did that in New Jersey. But no, I'm wrong. <laughs> One time I said the, the federal government was wanting to ban appliances. Oh no, that's just Fox News uh, hype or something to that effect. Okay, so the federal government didn't do it, but it turned out that one of the governments did it. And I do think the federal government was actually looking into it until they decided to wait a minute, this is getting too much backlash. Then I talked about, and this one really upset me. Folks on the West Coast, specifically California, wanted the taxpayers, us, federal taxpayers to pay for a big ditch a huge ditch that extended from the Mississippi River to Lake Mead and uh, I'm gonna forget the other lakes name to fill that lake because the Colorado River isn't producing as much water and it's not filling up these lakes and uh, they're in a big drought since like the 80s and this is the only way they could figure out how to do it was have the Mississippi w w River supply water to these lakes that way they can have plenty of water oh I, I just i nearly lost my mind on this well shortly after that we found out that the mississippi river was in drought conditions and i think it's still in drought conditions louisiana the, the river was so low that they were seeing old boats and ships that had sunk i used to live next to the mississippi river herculaneum missouri and we used to play off these cliffs and barges would go up and down the river and if you could get one to signal they would signal you it was a lot of fun 
Well, I, I think last year, and probably even this year too, if I had to guess, those barges have stopped. They're just, there's not enough water for them to go through. And that's major industry. That wasn't even bad enough that the drought was happening. There was a, I don't know, some sort of study done. And they were trying to figure out the ecological impact of building a ditch from the Mississippi River to California. And what they determined was Louisiana would lose all its wetlands, all the swamp, you know, the alligators and the water moccasins and, you know, all those animals, all those, that wildlife that exists in the marshes of Louisiana, or swamplands, or whatever you want to call them, I don't know what they call them, was going to die. Now, what happens is, is the swamplands fall off into the ocean at a regular pace, but the Mississippi River fills it back in. So when you started diverting water from the Mississippi River to California, basically Louisiana was just going to drop off into the, to the Gulf Coast. This is what the study determined. And California said, so? What do we need that for? California focused more on the environmental impact it was going to have on the West Coast. And there was no environmental impact for them. It was nothing but improvements because you're turning a desert into a wetland. So it was going to improve. More wildlife would come back, plants would start growing again, and it'd be all oh, happy and joy, joy. But who cares about the folks in the center of the country? And it's always aggravated me. That's how our politicians think. The only people that count are on the east and the west. Everybody else doesn't matter. I, I made several videos about that. Again, I was called crazy. Oh no, they're not going to do it. And then all of a sudden, the west coast started getting tons of rain, I guess, over the last several months and it was flooding. Well, then all of a sudden they're like, oh no, no, it's okay, we don't really need it. We don't need the water, everything's fine. So it's all about what they need. I mean, it almost reminds me of a spoiled child. I want candy. And then you give them candy and they're like, well, no, that's not the candy I wanted. You were the dummies that decided to build a farm in a desert. Brilliant idea, buddy. But then again, last year, I reported on governments trying to manipulate weather patterns. And I know that that really sounds crazy. But I guess I didn't present it in a fashion. I mean, I guess it sounded pretty crazy the way I presented it. I actually deleted that video. I got so much backlash on it. 20 years ago, I think it was Bill Gates wanted to start pumping clouds into the sky over the ocean. He made a, a, a documentary on this or something. I mean, I watched it on TV, I remember. But it was, it was like, man, you're nuts. And it was scary that he was actually thinking this way. But he said, we have to block the sun. Uh, we're just getting too hot. We're gonna have to block the sun. And I'm thinking, how do you block the sun? Well, in the movie or documentary or whatever they said, it won't have any impact on the, the ocean. So we'll just do it over the oceans. We'll send ships out in the oceans and we'll make these cloud machines and the machines will make clouds and block the sun. Well, all right, but aren't we worried about changing weather patterns significantly in the oceans? I mean, we have El Nino, Ninos and El Nanos and El Pasos over there in the, in the ocean. And I, I'm not a meteorologist, but I watch these guys on YouTube. They're meteorologists. And they talk about this, this coastal cooling and heating. And oh, you're like, wow. You know, so you're wanting to change. How do you know what's going to happen by doing that? So some billionaire is going to think, hmm, I got an idea. I'm just going to start changing things. And we'll just see how it goes. And then all of a sudden, you know, all the, the coastlines or flooding and we've got snow in July and Texas and, and and then we're like well okay what do we do so last year they brought it up again and this time governments were wanting to do this not just billionaires and I made a video and I said government wants to ban solar panels oh come on no they don't um, let's think about this. If they block the sun, even over the oceans, we're not going to get enough sunlight to power solar panels. 
I mean, think about it. If we change the climate and we don't know exactly what's going to happen, isn't it possible that all of a sudden we get more rains and more clouds and all of a sudden instead of half the year in Missouri being cloudy, it's every day of the year it's cloudy? What happens if they mess up? Let's say they have an idea and they know exactly how to play God. And they got it all down pat and they make a mistake. When the machines blow up and make a bunch of clouds. I was called crazy. I deleted the video. I thought, you know, I don't want to be fear mongering anything. I even talked about that yesterday in yesterday's video. I don't want to fear monger. Well then, I watched three videos last night. Or this morning. Combination of both. And they're talking about this. Apparently, the president wants to investigate how to make clouds so we can block the sun or block the sun or i mean they're even talking about like ozone stuff you know like the stuff that we banned in the 90s where we aerosol cans they're kind of even, well let's just what can we do so we spent all that money banning ozone depleting aerosol cans just so we can do it again in the year 2020. then all of a sudden these people are saying well, why are they wanting to do this it's just going to kill everybody we won't have any food It'll kill our plants. This is not hard to figure out. They believe that the world is overpopulated. They want, don't quote me, let's call it 500 million people on the planet. That's all they want. There's 4 billion now, I think, 4 or 5 billion. And they only want 500 million. I, I don't know what it is, but it's in the 100 million, something like that. They don't consider me a contributing member of society. They don't consider you a contributing member of society. And if they do, then what they're going to do is they'll handpick you and you're the slave laborer to take care of the elitist. And they call themselves the elitist. I don't have to say this. They actually said it. We're the elitist. We're smart. We'll figure all this out. You know, we got all the money. So the elitist will be taken care of by the people they choose. To take care of them the slave labor and you'll build their cars and grow their foods and you'll have these huge domes like greenhouses that you'll grow their food in and so if you just have small little areas to grow food and and take care of the 500 million people the rest of us just go away that saves all their problems and they don't have to be too direct about it if they cloud up the skies and they say, oh, wow, look at that, 100 million people died today because we clouded up the sky. Boy, that was a mistake. Well, it's better than just saying, you know what, <laughs> let's just get rid of them. Line them up and execute them. Because if they said that, we would revolt. But if they say, oh, no, this is because, you know, we're heating up. we got to change things. Here's our plan that we won't question it. Oh, yeah. We only got 12 years before the planet just burns into a big ball of flames and becomes hotter than the sun. So in these videos I was watching, they were talking about how this plant life needs sunlight. If you don't have plant life, we don't have food. If we don't have sunlight, we don't have solar panels. What are these people thinking? They're dumb. Of course you got to have sun. You got to have sun for everything. They want to bring this world to the brink of extinction to get rid of the human race and then make it in their own image. It kind of sounds familiar. I've read that one time before. I can't remember where. Make something or someone into your own image. Oh, we can't talk about that. So yes, they do consider themselves gods, the elitist, and the rest of us are just little ants that can be sacrificed for the good of the elitist. And then they're claiming it's about heating everything up. And heck, they may believe it. They may believe, yeah, the land's heating up and this is the only way we can save it. Or they may just think, I, we, you ever think you watch The Matrix and, he, and Mr. Smith does that to Morpheus' face and he says, the stench of humans. He couldn't stand the humans. He wanted the humans to go away. The problem was the humans took care of them. Well, that's the way the elitists think. We're just stench. We're just a, a virus. If you ever get a chance, watch The Matrix where he, they've got Morpheus tied up in that room and they're 
talking about how the human race is just a virus. That's the way they believe. So if you click this up next box, it'll take you to a video where I was talking about the solar panels. So if I can inspire you just to get away from it, we'll get through it. So you can live your dreams. Thanks for watching.